I wonder what that means. Ah, I get it now. What is that? What do you call that? It's the ovum. Oh. So it's looking looking like those sperm are trying to get into that ovum and create a being. So all his material seems to be concerned with reproduction. Another very interesting piece, I think, is this one. And why is that? With that uh, yin-yang symbol in the center. And so that's about life as well. Mm -hmm. You are visiting the Elmira College Art Faculty Exhibition. I'm really excited about the show. I'm really bummed that I couldn't come to the opening. But yeah. And this particular piece that is done by Derek Chalfant, the sculpture, has leaves underneath. And mm -hmm. tell me about your response to this. I really like this one, actually. I mean, I, and I love, I like all of Derek's pieces. And I really have been kind of fond of some of the other pieces, particularly the more realistic paintings. But I really was struck by, I think, the orderliness of the leaves. I couldn't figure out why they looked so intentional. And so that's what drew me over to, to look at it in more detail. And if that makes sense, even though the leaves represent um, soldiers who have died in the Iraq War, but the, the idea of kind of this temporary memorial, which I also thought so that the, I represented was that, that the leaves are kind of ephemeral. Now, speaking of other other I nationalities, we've yeah. got we've got a Native American here whose name is what Joe Firecrow. Well, isn't this part? I couldn't tell if the series is about genocide because that one's also I think is reference to genocide in it. Yes, because yes. that's Dina, but, who is a Holocaust survivor. Yes, and so actually I like them as as a duo with the topic of genocide. What's the one. Why are some things in pink? I noticed that the women, man, are not all women. Because is that woman? Yes. Well, that's a good question because um, what this is is all of the people of the year from during my lifetime. I was born in 1951, cool. and this is, goes to 2008. She so say disappeared, yeah. and and that's my era. I mean, that would have been me. That's truly yes. me. And of course, she's not the whole cover. She's a part. Now, all of a sudden, in the 70s, we have women's liberation. We have a bunch of women, so they're trying to make up on one cover all the women they have left <laughs> like, out. What 30 right? years? The women who are on the covers with men don't have clothes on oftentimes, so I kept them, I didn't make them pink or blue, but I kept the skin real. Uh, then Jessica Lynch, which we know she was said, I am not a heroine, don't mm -hmm. say that I am. And then we and have... Also but that's what interesting that they made this, 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 the rescue of this girl, the story, when it really, w there was no story there, and I'm not sure if she were male. If that would be such a big story, I mean, because I think, you know, her femininity is increased, and if it were a man, his masculinity would have been decreased had there been a massive rescue of the soldier. 